Good evening and welcome to the 2021 school year. At the end of our presentation, you'll be prompted with an email address for any questions. Keep track of your questions and we'll share the email address again at the end. Let's get started. Good morning, Christiana Campus. This is Dr. Lauren, the principal of Christiana High School and Middle School Honors Academy. Hi, I'm Catherine Herring. I'm one of the assistant principals here in the building. I'm LJ Blair, the other assistant principal, and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We are here just to give you some encouragement for this unprecedented school year. We know that this is a non-traditional start, but we have been working hard and our staff is ready. We are so excited to welcome all of our new families and welcome back all of our current families. We have exciting things in store and can't wait to see you, whether that's online or on campus. Welcome to our school year. Good evening, families. This is Dr. Lawrence, campus principal. Hi, I'm Katherine Herring. I'm one of the assistant principals and I handle students with last names of M through Z. Our assistant principal, Mr. Blair, handles last names A through L. He was unable to join us, but there's his picture. Also, we'd like to introduce our main office staff. These are the wonderful ladies that have been answering the phones and answering your questions. At the end of the presentation, you'll be directed with an email address to reach them. In the front office, we have Ms. Michael Jeske, Mrs. O'Connell, and Mrs. Vick. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another school year. This is Ms. Habert. I am the guidance counselor for the Honors Academy, running from sixth grade to 12th grade, and I'm going to go ahead and introduce my team to all of you. Ms. Rumley is, will be handling ninth grade through 12th grade, last names A through G. Ms. Donaldson will be handling ninth through 12th grade, last names L through N. 
And welcome to Ms. Nurse Station, our new guidance counselor who will be working with 9th through 12th grade last names of O through Z. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, my name is Kate Kastriner. I'm Dean of Students. And this year we have everybody coming back from last year, but we've moved around our caseloads a little bit. Mrs. Carleo will be handling ninth and 10th grade last names M through Z. I will be handling the other half that is ninth through and 10th grade last names A through L. Uh, Mr. Grundy will be dealing with the 11th and 12th graders and Mrs. Pierre Floyd will be dealing with, she's an MTSS coordinator, 9 through 12. Welcome back. So we'd like to also introduce our support services team with Ms. Allie Peterson. Go ahead. Sorry, hi, I'm Allie Peterson. I'm one of the EDs. I have last names, um, I actually have last names A through L. And then Miss Jameson is our other ED. She has last names M through Z. Um, and then we have Miss Kane, who's our school psychologist, Miss Boyce, our school nurse, and we have our new school, nor school nurse, Miss Allen Coleman. Hi, this is Crystal Tuminero, uh, English teacher, Christiana High School, and we have quite a team for the ELA, um, English Language Arts, and ELL, English Language Learners. La language learners. Um, some new faces on here, Mr. Fritz, Ms. Hillman, Ms. Rob, Ms. McCall, myself, Ms. Conrad, Ms. Garcia, Ms. Mahana, Ms. O'Donnell, Ms. Gr excuse me, Dr. Grussell, Mr. Tomaszek, and Ms. Hernandez. In ELA classes for the first marking period, you can expect quite a bit happening. If we can move to the next slide. Um, our ninth grade class starts with a short story um, unit in which students examine literature through analysis. 10th grade continues that analysis of short story, digging just a little bit deeper into author's purpose and different short story conventions. 11th grade English is a course um, covering American literature from Native American texts to modern text, and 12th grade is a course on British literature, which starts in with Old English text and moves all the way to modern text. We hope you have a great year. So we'd like to also introduce our world language team. We have Senora Sevilla, our Spanish teacher, and Dr. Sec, our French teacher. They've provided some really fun expectations for their classes. In French, their goal is to encourage communication and the exchange of information in French in order to be proficient. So you can read through. Dr. Sec wishes you to have fun and get comfortable with French. Also, Ms. Sevilla has started a Bitmoji classroom. We won't click around tonight, but if you go to uh, her Schoology, there's a link to her Bitmoji classroom. Everything you see there are live links to, to learn more about Spanish class, La Clase de Español. So, bienvenidos from Senora Sevilla. Hi, my name is Christina Hanna, and this is our math team. From left to right, we have Donna Barto, Kanak Batia, Don Davis, Richard Felder, myself, Zachary Herring, Dr. Master Polito, Jennifer Mayer, Sarah Novick, Teresa Trainer, and Dr. Wright. They're so excited to have you guys back. At Christiana, we have a whole bunch of math courses. We start in Integrated Math 1 through the series into integrated math four in the upper level courses we start with pre-calculus honors we also offer ap calculus ab and also ap statistics this is just some of the few expectations we'll be starting with once the courses start
Good evening and welcome back. My name is Tom Conard. I'm the Social Studies Department Chair. Uh, the Social Studies Department consists of uh, myself, uh, Bo Dwyer, who teaches uh, Econ, Civics, and AVID, uh, Benjamin Glazier, who is new this year, who will be taking C uh, Civics, Econ, and U.S. History, Sarah Huckleberry, who will have Civics, Econ, and Human Behavior, Darius Powell, who will be handling uh, Human Geography, and Miss Linda Wilson, who will have U.S. History, uh, African American History, and AVID. We have a variety of courses in social studies depending on your student's grade. Ninth graders will be handling human geography uh, with myself or Mr. Powell. Tenth graders will be engaging in economics and civics. Eleventh graders will be studying U.S. history. Uh, Twelfth graders will be uh, have a choice of electives, one of them being African American history and the other being human behavior. Good evening. Uh, I am Mr. Baker. I am the chair of our science department team. And uh, as you can see, our uh, team there starting, that is me first with chemistry, physics, and engineering, which you'll hear about later. Uh, we have Mr. Biedenkopf on our team, as you can see, with a leadership seminar, but also an environmental science course. Uh, we are welcoming a new teacher with us, Mr. Brewer, who has got biology and chemistry. Dr. Caparelli, who does biology, forensics, equine science, and astronomy course. And uh, last but certainly not least on that list is Mr. Murray, who is our earth and physical science, but also uh, handles a physics classes also. And you can see the typical schedule, but not guaranteed. Usually ninth graders are in the earth and physical science, 10th graders biology, 11th graders chemistry, and as a 12th grader, there's options. Uh, forensics and physics are the two courses we have here at Christiana. And then also with our Honors Academy is the leadership seminar, as you can see described. Thank you and welcome back. Good evening, um, my name's Jeff Donchuk. I'm the director of bands at uh, Christiana High School also the department chair and the Christiana School District 2021 Teacher of the Year. Um, on my team, we also have Penny Carmack, who will be a band, choir, and guitar. Uh, something new for this year, Mr. Hetzler will be doing all orchestras uh, in our school. And I think my art colleague would like to introduce yourself and Ms. Schoen. I'm Ms. Edstrom and I teach visual arts along with Ms. Rhonda Schoen. So the performing arts, we offer band, choir, uh, strings or orchestra, guitar, piano, and steel drums. During the first marking period, music students will review, expand on music, basic music notation and reading skills, review, expand a variety of instrumental vocal performing techniques, learn strategies for effective practice, Analyze performance in preparation for recording music. Our visual arts, as you can see, have multiple layers of different kind of subject matter, ranging from Art 101, which is basically Art Fundamentals, which gives you a wide variety of different media to work with. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also offer 2D Design 1 and 2, Honors Portfolio, along with 3D Design 1 and 2. Thank you very much. We are also proud to share our NJROTC team. We have Captain Karen Hart and Sergeant Major Gary Arnold. This year, we will also be adding Commander John Timothy. This is a terrific program that just celebrated its 25th year. For more information, and there is more information coming out this week uh, about our NJROTC program, there'll be a link to the National NJROTC program for more information. 
please consider this as one of your options. We also have our health and physical education team of Ms. Daniels, Mr. Woodruff, and Mr. Curley. In health and phys ed, we, we look at a lot of life skills and lifelong fitness components. Hi everyone, my name is Karen Baker. I am the career and tech ed uh, department chair. And as you can see, we have four sections in career and tech ed in our pathways that students are required to one out of one of the four. Um, there's a couple other options, but these are the four that we have um, in ag science. We have Ms. Cavoto. New to us this year, we have Ms. Kester and of course, Mr. Lundy. With business, um, myself and Ms. Mallard, she teaches JDG and Mr. Mullen. In health sciences, we have Mrs. Nikowski and Mrs. Pruitt and our engineering teacher is Mr. Baker. As you can see, we have a lot to offer in our career pathways. Uh, agri-science for the first week or so, or a couple, first couple of weeks is gonna talk about uh, components of agricultural education, FFA. And you can see that there's a lot of availability there in, um, in agri-science, a lot of classes that they can take. And there's uh, new this year in equine science through University of Delaware. I'll talk about that dual enrollment in a little bit. Um, in business, we talk, what, it, what does business mean to me? We talk about BPA, which is Business Professionals of America, and then DCA, which is the JDG CTSO. Um, we talk about um, how it works for you, what, what you'll learn in BFM, banking and finance, marketing, and we have new to this year, intro to business through Wilmington University as a dual enrollment. In engineering, new this year, we have a program called TSA, it stands for Technical Students Association. And Mr. Baker is gonna be running that CTSO this year. Um, he also teaches intro to engineering design and principles of engineering. And finally, in health sciences, we have a CTSO called HOSA, and they're going to be teaching uh, human growth and development, public and community health, essentials of health careers, fundamentals of health science, and personal wellness, which is also another uh, Wilmington University dual enrollment course. So you can see on the middle left side, there is uh, Wilmu and U of D. We have articulations with them that um, are with different types of classes that we have and they can qualify juniors and seniors. Uh, they have to meet a criterion. And um, currently we're doing this semester is closed. We have already signed a bunch of uh, kids up for that. Next semester, we're gonna be teaching Marketing 101 through Wilmington University and leadership in ag through University of Delaware. So I um, wanted to just give you that information. If anybody's interested in the next semester courses, you can reach out to me um, at Karen Baker at christina.k12.de.us. And I'm sorry, I forgot to say that there is a dual enrollment in spring, I think environmental science, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's right. Yeah. Um, that's it, that's CTE, welcome back. Hello, my name is uh, Andrew Biedenkopf. I am the High School Honors Academy Coordinator, uh, along with Ms. Habert. Uh, we'd like to start off by welcoming our new ninth grade Honors Academy class with the addition of our ninth grade class this year. We have doubled the size of the High School Honors Academy, so that is a great achievement for us. Um, first and foremost, our 11th and 12th grade students uh, will begin the following Wilmington University classes for the fall semester, uh, English 121, World History uh, 204, and Math 320. Our 12th grade students, you will begin classes on September 8th, so you should have already received information about logging into those classes. Um, our 11th grade students, uh, you will be taking your AccuPlacer exam on September 16th at 8 a.m. And this is for our high school Honors Academy students. So if you need assistance or have questions at any time during the year, please feel free to reach out to Ms. Habert or to myself. Thank you. So now we're going to get into a lot of the 
meat and potatoes of the evening, um, especially where it concerns technology and remote learning. So thank you to all of our teachers for sharing about the academics. Those academics are happening. And now we need to talk about how and what that looks like. So I'm going to read this slide so that everyone is on the same page and has complete understanding of what's coming. As promised, we are keeping you updated with the latest technology information regarding Chromebooks. Chromebooks for Christina School District students have been ordered. As the school year begins virtually, we have been genuinely concerned that delays with these laptop deliveries would create inconvenient challenges for our students, families, and teachers. The delays started in the spring and intensified because of high demand. Unfortunately, tens of thousands of students are facing the prospect of starting school over the coming weeks without the computers needed for remote classes. And this is throughout our country. We understand that this delivery delay will impact many of our families' abilities to, per to participate in remote learning. Again, the devices have been ordered and there is a delivery delay. Families without devices, families without devices or the internet will not be held accountable for remote learning during this time. When our, de when our delivery is received, we will, as a district, communicate a strategy to deploy them immediately and introduce plans to allow students an opportunity to make up the work that was missed. In the meantime, each of the schools in the Christina School District has worked out a plan to provide learning materials to every student until our devices arrive. These plans include providing materials for pickup at our school and making arrangements for delivery to your home or getting materials to you. Our school will be contacting you to finalize and communicate these plans. Please watch your email. Our team has been working hard. Please watch your email. We are ready to work with you and get whatever we need in the interim. If your contact information has changed, please be sure to contact us at the information we'll provide at the end of this presentation to share your updated information. We need to see who needs what to, do, to have over the next few weeks. It is critical that you do this. Learning is happening and we wanna make sure that all students have the opportunity to learn. Again, devices have been ordered and there is a delivery delay. Additionally, we will be facilitating textbook and materials distribution for certain classes next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Details will be emailed to students and families this weekend. There are courses that are going to require certain materials and we will be in touch with you. So, this is our remote learning schedule. And this is what our day will look like. Many of you have already seen this. We've emailed this a few times already over the last few weeks, but we just wanna talk it through so that everyone can understand how our day will look in remote learning. Our instructional day will begin at eight o'clock in the morning and our blocks or periods will run for 45 minutes. There'll be a 15 minute transition between the blocks. So at eight o'clock until 8.45, students will be in class. At 8.45 to nine o'clock, that will be our transition. This will allow for families, students, staff to all address whatever needs they need to take care of at home. We do understand that this is a lot different and then prepare them to easily log, log into the next course at nine o'clock. There are five blocks in the day with additional office time built in for the students to connect. And that's that 1.30 block that you see at the end of the day. We've also built in a lunch period that you can see over block four. Teachers are providing live instruction on Mondays and Tuesdays with new learning again on Thursdays and Fridays. We will explain Wednesday in a moment. 
students are expected to participate in the live instruction, that's the synchronous live instruction, as well as any individual assignments that are offered during the blocks. So during this time, during a class period, when students are receiving new learning, they can ask questions, they can seek assistance, they may be working in small groups, they may be working as a class. They're, it's gonna vary for different classes. Schoology is the primary point of reference for all courses. Schoology is the primary point of reference for all courses. And also during our 130 block, special education teachers will also be able to work with students. They will also be in the classes for support as well. During the instructional time on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, students will utilize Schoology for their instru instructional information, materials, and assignments. During this time on these four days, teachers will direct students to use either Schoology Conference or Zoom for the live instruction. That information will be shared with the students prior to the class period so they know where to go. Students also will be directed um, by the teachers on how and when to submit both the classwork and the homework that will be due. And also teachers will inform students when the class is over at the end of the block. So then the students know to transition to their next class. The Home Access Center, which we also know as HAC, is where the grades are displayed for each course. Schoology will have grades, however, please make sure that you are going to the HAC Home Access Center because that's where the most accurate, up-to-date grading information is going to be for your students. So as we explained before, new learning will occur on Mondays and Tuesdays, as well as Thursdays and Fridays. Wednesday is what we are considering a support day. While students will be logging in at the regular intervals, that day they will have a, a greater opportunity to receive either support if they need help or enrichment based on their needs. Support can include assistance with the current material, reinforced skills, or just enrichment about what they've learned on Monday and Tuesday. Students will use this time to ask individual questions or ask clarifying questions, work on iReady, work on projects, or get support with other assignments posted by the teacher. Depending on the student's needs, students with individual education plans may receive additional support on this day in conjunction with the support they'll be receiving on other days. The blocks will look different for each student as this time is individually based. We still are offering our advisory days that we had last year. The advisory days are created to foster a positive relationship between our teachers and our students. This course is going to be offered every other week during remote learning and it will be on Wednesdays. And it will continue when students do return back to the building, but it will be on a different day at that point. The topics during advisory days will be shared with students as we go through the remote learning. The advisory teacher is listed in home access for the students. So everyone knows when the advisory dates are, we will have them posted, but they're also here for you now. It is Wednesday, September 16th, Wednesday, September 30th, Wednesday, October 14th, and Wednesday, October 28th. And they are from 1.30 to 2 on Wednesdays, and that is typically during the office hour time. This Monday, September 7th, is Labor Day and schools and offices are closed. Tomorrow, offices are open if you need to call or email. Tuesday, September 8th, is the official first day of school. Students are expected to log into Home Access and get a copy of their schedule prior to September the 8th. If you need assistance, please reach out you can reach out on Schoology or you can email or call the main office tomorrow. All students on the first day of school should log into Schoology at 8 o'clock a.m. Students should click on their block one class. 
students should have designated workspace at home if possible to eliminate distractions. Remote learning etiquette. As we all are navigating through this new remote learning, we did have it obviously last spring. We were all in a new mode of learning. And so at this point with us starting on Tuesday, September 8th, we want all of this in place ahead of time so families, students, teachers, staff all know what the expectation is. Students will be on mute unless the teacher directs students to not be on mute. First and last names do need to be displayed and virtual backgrounds need to be appropriate. And when they are not, then when the video is going, they need to make sure that it is a appropriate background. Listening, we need to make sure that we are being active listeners and we are respecting others. When you do have the chat on for the classes, please be respectful in the chat. Please be aware of what you are displaying in the videos and please be sure that you are in school appropriate clothing. Attendance will be taken starting on Tuesday, September 8th. Students are expected to be involved throughout the remote learning process. Detailed information about attendance will be in the next campus weekly update. Again, attendance will be taken starting on Tuesday, September the 8th. Grading will begin on Tuesday, September 8th as well. Again, the grading will be in the Home Access Center as well as in Schoology, but be sure that you're looking at the hack for the most accurate grading. Students are expected to be involved throughout the remote learning process. And just like with the attendance, grading um, information will be in the next campus weekly update. Hi, um, just a little bit about technology. Um, for students to get into Schoology, they should go to christinak12.schoology.com and enter their username, which is their first name, dot last name, at students.christina.k12.de.us. That is their login for almost everything that they do on school. Um, so to log into their computer, to log into um, Schoology, um, and their password password is generally their lunch number. If that is not working, they should contact the school to make sure that they have the right information or they can update their own password for hack on the website. Thank you. So as we continue to move through remote learning, we will continue to share information with everyone. Communication is critical. It is very, very, very important that your contact information is up to date. At Christiana, we send a weekly email to families. We constantly update our website. We communicate with schools by class. So for example, the class of 2021, class of 2022, right on down to our class of 2027, which is our sixth grade. Uh, they each have a schoolies, Schoology site and we've been updating those as well. We also use our social media. This will include information regarding instruction, updates regarding COVID-19, calendar information, school and district information, and anything that is important to our families. Please don't forget to constantly also check christinak12.org slash reopening. The district has an entire website dedicated to all of this information. Anything you need can be found on that website as well as our school website. At this time, we're going to play our school alma mater as we begin to close out. And we will also revisit our time to allow you to write down the email information that you need.
Thank you, families, for being with us this evening. If you have questions, we'll be sharing the email address to us for our senior secretary in the main office. We look forward to a wonderful 2020-2021 school year. We're really excited to see the students. We'll be look, looking forward to all of your questions or any concerns that you have. We will get through this together. Stay tuned for that email address. And if you don't have email, please feel free to call us at the school. Thank you. Questions may be asked by emailing wanda.vic at christina.k12 Dot de dot us. Questions will be forwarded directly to the appropriate staff. You can also use our staff directory located at www.christinak12.org slash Christiana HS. There you will find our staff directory and you can click on the names and email teachers directly. Students also feel free to reach out to your students in Schoology. Thank you and have a wonderful Viking evening. <laughs>